Researchers say a significant growth of aquatic grasses in the upper Chesapeake makes the estuary cleaner and more productive. Sport fishing and hunting are making a dramatic comeback. Just below the surface of this water, a quiet revolution is underway. Forty years ago, Tropical Storm Agnes devastated the so-called Susquehanna Flats area at the north end of Chesapeake Bay. The storm, along with pollution and general neglect, decimated a big field of aquatic grasses in the area. Now those grasses have made a dramatic comeback. Well, the Susquehanna Flats is currently the single biggest underwater grass bed in the Chesapeake Bay. Cassie Gerbiz and her advisor Michael Kemp study the cyclical nature of the grass bed and how it impacts the local ecology. But they're like kidneys in the respect that they, they kind of filter the water. So it's habitat, it's food, because those little fish are food for the bigger fish. And because those big fish are here feeding, we can come here to kind of catch our food too. What they found is that the grasses act as one large strainer traps nitrogen, phosphate, and other particles from the Susquehanna River flow. And with cleaner water, sunlight penetrates deeper, allowing more grasses to grow. Basically, you'll have a plant growing out of the sediment here, and it'll send these rhizomes out, and new shoots will go grow out of the rhizomes. The healthy grass environment has drawn increasing attention from sport fishermen and hunters. It's been a great economic boom to the tackle shops up there and the restaurants, you know, and Guys come in and put their boats in the water. They've got to have lunch and things like that and put some gas in the boat. The benefits may extend beyond the Chesapeake, as current research could help scientists working to revive other stressed estuaries. The question of understanding why the plants recovered might provide information, key information, on understanding what's necessary um, to revegetate and uh, uh, restore the community, plant communities to their, to their historic levels. With the research ongoing, observers hope it is only a matter of time before they can share their findings with others working with environmentally stressed aquatic areas. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.